Okay, so welcome to Math Storia, and we're going to learn on how to find the center and the radius of the circle with the given equations. So we have this given equation, x squared plus 10x plus y squared minus 16y minus 11 equals 0. So first, we need to write this equation in a standard form. So we need to group all x and all y. So from this given equation, group all x. So we have x squared plus 10x. Then plus group all y. So we have y squared minus 16y. Then this negative 11 transposed to the other side. So this becomes positive 11. Then do completing the square. So in completing the square for x. So just take the coefficient of x. So that's 10. Then divide this one by 2. Take the square. So 10 divided by 2. That's 5. And 5 square is 25. And for y. So take the coefficient of y. That's 16. Divide this by 2. Take the square, so 16 divided by 2, that's 8, and 8 squared is 64. Then add this 25 to the equation of x, so we have x squared plus 10x plus 25 plus add this 64 to the equation of y, so we have y squared minus 16y then plus 64 equals 11 since we add 25 for the equation of x and 64 for the equation of y we also need to add 25 and 64 on the right side then apply factoring so to factor this equation of x so factors of x squared, this one is x times x. Since the middle term is positive, so plus, and factors of 25, that's 5 times 5. So we have now x plus 5, then squared. And for the equation of y, so factors of y squared, that's y times y. Since the middle term is negative, so minus, and factors of 64, that's 8 times 8. So we have y minus 8, then squared equals, so add these three numbers. So 11 plus 25, that's 36, plus 64. So this one is 100. Then from the standard equation of the circle, since we have this r squared, so we need to rewrite this 100 with exponent 2. So we have now x plus 5 squared plus y minus 8 squared. So to rewrite this 100 with exponent 2, so just take the square root of 100, then raise to the power 2. Then simplify, so we have x plus 5 squared plus y minus 8 to the power 2, then equals, so square root of 100, that's 10, so that's 10 to the power 2. So this is now the standard equation of the circle. Then from the standard equation, the center is h and k, and the radius is r. So from our standard equation, this is h, this one is k, and this one is the radius. So to solve now for the center, so center of the circle, that's h and k. So the center now, since h is positive 5, so therefore h is negative 5. Then k is negative 8, so k is positive 8. So this is now the center of this circle. And for the radius, 
So since the radius is r, so therefore r is equal to 10. So this is now the radius of the circle. So again, these are the steps in finding the center and the radius of the circle with the given equations.